Cat, not a better place to start, right here, the iconic Cocoa Beach Pier. What I know is built in 1962, it's 800 feet long, and that's all I know about this area. Tell me more. There's so much more that goes into this area. Did you know that I Dream of Genie, the backdrop, was based around Cocoa Beach? And also 11-time world champion Kelly Slater, this was his home. These are the waters he learned to surf in when he was five years old. From when I grew up, the area has changed so much. Went from that sleepy little town to a huge growth. We've got several different space programs, lots of beaches and the arts, and there's a little bit of everything infused to all of the surrounding towns. I cannot wait to see it and learn more. I know we're gonna meet up with Colleen. She's got a little history too. Matter of fact, I think both of you have a little history together. Well, don't tell the other team leaders, but she happens to be my favorite. It's my sister. Colleen's your sister? Well, you know at Robert Slack, we're all about family. It is all about family at Robert Slack. We've always been, that's who we are. I'm so excited to go see Colleen and learn a little bit more about this area. Search is over, baby. I'm right here, and I got Welcome to Selling Florida with the Robert Slack team. Florida is a very good real estate market. What a place to live. You can do everything. We want you to come with us. Florida dream, right? I got it. You literally have everything. It's not about the home. It's about the lifestyle. You've got so much going on just right here, right? What a place to party. Let's get started right now. Colleen, this definitely was one of my most looked forward to episodes. <laughs> Thank you for meeting us. I'm so thrilled to have you both here to show you around East Coast today and just show you some of my favorite spots. Colleen, I remember it was like three, three years ago or so when, when I first interviewed you and you're like, no, I am not coming to Robert Slack. You told me that five times. Believe it or not, Dan, that was like five years ago, oh, wow. but who's counting? <laughs> Time flies when you're having fun. Tell us what happened since then. Well. You wrote me into a team lead position about two years ago, and it's been a whirlwind ever since. But how lucky am I to lead our East Coast team between Volusia, Brevard, and Indian River counties, and we are just crushing it. Well, I think I'm the one that should be saying thank you to you <laughs> because you and your team are crushing it. But truly, you guys have been here. You grew up here. I've always looked up to Colleen. She's my older sister, and she's always been so wise. She's a great natural-born leader. We're very lucky to have her. No question. <laughs> Colleen, let's talk numbers here in the Space Coast. Tell us a little bit about what the East Coast team is doing. Well, last year, we managed to close 100 million in volume, 350 sides, and this year, we're on pace to exceed that, aiming for 120 million, 365, 375. We'll see where we end up. But. Well, I'm taking notes on that, Colleen. <laughs> Seriously, five in. years ago, we didn't have a team over here. We didn't have an agent over here. You come over here, and, and literally in five years, you're doing 100 million. You're gonna do 120, 130 million this year. Again, congratulations. Thanks for everything that you do. Let's learn a little bit about the East Coast. I'm excited. Let's do it. my favorite spots here in Cocoa Beach, but this area is so much more than the beach. We've got Port Canaveral just north of us, cruise lines departing daily, tons of nightlife, restaurants, bars, live music. I mean, what else could you really want? You're so close. This is so close to Orlando, the airport. I mean, literally 45 minutes, you're from Orlando, you're on the beaches. Well, one of my favorite memories growing up is going to the beaches. It's so natural, it's not busy. You can floor. hear it, you can feel it. We're walking in, this is beautiful. So you guys grew up here, and, and really this area was developed by the space business, right? And so what's changed since then? Well, in the 2011, our space shuttle program retired, but since then, we have a new era that has evolved here. We are now launching rockets. Lots of big names are here that are hosting us between Blue Origin, ULA, uh, just to name a few and it's just a new era. So did a lot of people, when the space uh, business went down, they moved out and then now another group is coming in? Correct, yeah. It was, it was a time where a lot of businesses suffered, a lot of families suffered, but we're on the upswing. And so who's moving in and what are they buying here? 
we're getting transplants from all over the country. I mean, growing up, we always would hear it's the retirees were coming here, and now it just seems like you see this influx of new families, people that are moving here from California, New York. I mean, what is there not to, to love? We have a little bit of everything here. Colleen, I know you have a beautiful Robert Slack listing to show us. I'm excited to show you. It's a beautiful home, not too far from here. Before we go there, though, I saw on the way here the world's largest surf shop, Ron John. Can we please stop in there? Because I've got a little it. overdressed. I, exactly. <laughs> I've got to get some surf dude stuff. Totally. You're going to fit right in. All right. Let's go down there. Can I borrow your credit card? <laughs> and yours? <laughs> you need some new threads. Come on, Dan. <laughs> We're in the largest surf shop in the world. I'll tell you, this is a place I could get lost in. As you can see, Kat, this place is massive. Uh, 52,000 square feet, it's pretty big. It's phenomenal. We have everything you need to have a great day at the beach. This location here opened in 1963. So this is, we're standing in the original Ron John's. Nope, as a matter of fact, that location opened in New Jersey in 1961. You know, I read a little bit about Ron and I heard that his dad actually gave him some advice. Apparently he wanted to buy a surfboard. So his dad said, well, you need to buy three, sell two, turn a profit and it pays for your board. And he turned that into this incredible business. Truly one of a kind. I can't wait to see what Dan is getting on his shopping spree. I personally love the t-shirts they sell here. Lucky for you guys, with every purchase, they give you a Ron John sticker. I remember that when we were kids. I used to put it on my school books. Heard it's been seen around the world. As a matter of fact, yeah, the Eiffel Tower leg, the space station, all over the world, you can find this icon sticker. Speaking of icons, there is a museum here as well, and Florida is very rich in surf history. You've got to check it out while you're here. Kelly Slater was born and raised here in the waters of Cocoa Beach, and you can definitely find some incredible memorabilia while you're here visiting the museum. Well, let's go see what Dan's got in his shopping cart, slip a few of our items in there on the company <laughs> card. That sounds like a great idea. What do you think? I mean, those are really cute. I love this place. Look at all this cool stuff I've got. Don't worry. We took all of our shopping finds and left them up front. If there's room on the card, would you mind grabbing them for us? I'll pick up yours, but I've only gone through this part so far. I've got the second story to go. Well, we actually have to work today. We're going to go check out the local listing, and then we're going to meet you for lunch. Sounds good to me. This house is gorgeous. I don't even know where to look first. From the floor to ceiling windows, the never ending ceiling height. Tell me about the home. It's beautiful. Obviously, it's a grand entrance, grand staircase with a beautiful statement piece. It is just Florida living at its finest. So, we're in Vieira, which is a sub community in Melbourne, right? Yep. And we're close to <laughs> everything. This is literally centrally located in Brevard. It's gated, looking over a golf course. You're at arm's reach from restaurants, movie theaters. It's, it's everything at your fingertips here. It really is very impressive from the moment, really, that we pulled up to the gate and each house is on a pretty big piece of land. We're looking at over 5,500 square feet here. Wow, that is a lot of home. So how many bedrooms and baths? Five bedrooms, five baths, great living area. You have multiple areas to enjoy and an awesome kitchen. Any special features in the home? Yes, let's go look at it.
Wow, Colleen, this kitchen is impressive. The owners did such a nice job. They've renovated from top to bottom. They've spared no expense in the kitchen, between the countertops, the cabinetry, the stainless. Yeah, I'd say this is definitely not your basic kitchen. You've got the beautiful prep island, multiple sinks, the gas cooktop. What else have they done in the home? They definitely didn't stop here. They have replaced flooring upstairs. They've redone the entire staircase, wrought iron, the front entryway, the front doors. They've just really made this a statement piece. Actually, everywhere I look, I see something new. I just spied a beautiful wine bar <laughs> calling my name. I have no complaints with this area. Clearly this house was built for entertaining. Definitely. They have done a wonderful job here. And I mean, how could you not enjoy all of the natural lighting, the view of the golf course, the pool area, the lanai, the outdoor kitchen. It's beautiful. Speaking of the golf course, I happened to see, I mean, there was kids riding around on golf carts, like <laughs> tons of them. That's a thing here. Believe it or not, they actually, you will see kids driving their golf carts to school. <laughs> <laughs> and they have a special parking lot just for the golf cart drivers. It is normal lifestyle here. You live in Vieira, you most likely have a golf cart, and that's your typical mode of transportation. Well, I can't wait to see more. Talk about a master suite. This is beautiful. The trim work the tile, all the glass. They still managed to get natural lighting in here. It's beautiful. So the renovations clearly continued into the bathroom. They nailed turning it into a spa-like retreat. I would have no complaints spending the end of my day here. And what's great is that the master suite is downstairs. It's away from all the other bedrooms. This is your entire wing dedicated to the master suite. It leads right into your master bedroom, overlooking, again, the golf course, the pool. Just beautiful. Here's that bonus room made to suit see that they have turned this into kind of a man cave feel but at the same time you can entertain you have your your wine cooler here little kitchenette it's an all-purpose room uh, you've got the card table over there but also like downstairs it's an indoor outdoor two-way traffic which is great I mean this porch is great with the swinging chairs overlooking the golf course so really taking the outdoors in of course screened into Florida lifestyle <laughs> Wait till you see this outdoor space. Wow, this is gorgeous. It really is. This pool area, look at your built-in spa. It's just beautiful out here. Well, the pool is massive, so I could see long day on the golf course, come home, swim a few laps, take a dip in the, in the hot tub. Absolutely. This patio space is massive, but one of my favorite things is the huge covered lanai. In Florida, it's so important to <laughs> be able to have a little roof coverage. Those fine details were definitely brought in when designing this home, but absolutely. Rain or shine, you can enjoy this space. Yeah, you have an afternoon barbecue during the summer thunderstorms. <laughs> Catch the football game on the TV. It's just awesome. Always a pleasure to see you at Robert Slack. We're so fortunate to have Florida funding on our side. Thanks, it's great to be here again. So with the shifting market, do you have any advice to offer agents and what's a great way to position their offers moving forward? That's a great question. So we are seeing changes because inventory is starting to rise. So it's making it a little bit less of a seller's market. Now we're seeing that buyers are actually in a position where they can ask for seller concessions to help offset closing costs and that type of stuff. Another tool we're using a lot is something called appraisal waivers. That's where we're interfacing with Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac's underwriting engines. And we're able to get an appraisal waiver if the client is buying a property for a reasonable price. And we're seeing that quite frequently. They're gonna be able to now structure that offer while waiving an appraisal to make a seller feel more confident in that transaction. That's great, so buyers are gonna be eligible potentially to have a credit to help offset their costs. 
and the sellers are still able to move forward peace of mind knowing that the appraisal is not going to be an issue. Exactly. You know, it's a win-win situation in that, that scenario. And we try to help the realtors with those techniques and other techniques because, again, the best thing to happen is to get that offer accepted. So however we can assist in that endeavor is what we're striving to do. Awesome advice, Gary. Thank you so much. And as usual, Robert Slack is so fortunate to have Florida funding on their side. Great to see you again. Absolutely gorgeous in here. Thank you. Tell me a little bit about uh, the design and how you guys came up with this concept. So the concept uh, and the design of the restaurant came from our owners, Jesse and Sean Lowry. They came up with the concept from one of their favorite restaurants in Winter Park, which is 60 Vines. So we kind of took that concept and ran with it as best as we could in Titusville. And 60 Vines, there's 60 wines on tap. We cut that wine down to about 24 here. And we also offer a array of cocktails so the owners have multiple restaurants then? Yes. So we were playing with a couple different concepts and lo and behold, this is what we came up with. Well, the, the interior is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, you've got the front kitchen. Tell us a little bit about, you've got the bar here. I love the wood, by the way. Yes, the wood actually, we use a local company called Level Customs. He's a woodworker in the area, does a lot of different things. He did all of the woodwork in the restaurant, uh, including this live uh, edge wood bar. Uh, he also did all the tables and all the shelving as well. And, and I see you've got an outside patio area that's gorgeous. Yeah, so we really wanted to run with the concept. We don't want to be one of those quick turn and burn restaurants. We wanted people to come in, feel very relaxed, sit back, you know, try how many different wines. We didn't want to feel it too stuffy or upper class. And so Michael, I heard that you've actually been with the ownership group for quite a while. This is not your first rodeo. No, so I started with them about five years ago. So I got very lucky, Jesse and Sean, um, when it comes to restaurants, they know what they are doing, and I got very lucky to have them as my bosses. And, uh, you know, I just worked as much as I could for them and showed them how well of a worker I was, and they used me the best they could. Well, it's paid off. You've done a great job. This is, I can't wait to taste the food. But you said something um, about the wines, that people like to sit down and have multiple wines. Is there a wrong number of multiple different wines to have in one setting? Uh, as long as you can handle it and you don't get too <laughs> drunk and you can walk away from the table and you're not driving, uh, have joy as many as you like. So out of the 24, <laughs> somewhere around 20 is okay then? Yeah, somewhere around there. <laughs> Well, well, this looks amazing. Okay. Tell us a little bit about what we have here. So, you know, our, our idea coming in here is we're trying to do, you know, modern Italian in Brevard County in Florida. Our idea is to bring Italian American things that you're, everyone is used to, but then in addition to, if an Italian moved to Central Florida and they had, they were working with the ingredients that were here. So the fresh fish, this prosciutto wrapped pork tenderloin with boiled peanuts, same with uh, shrimp and polenta. Those are Anton Mills uh, stone ground yellow corn grits with uh, that amazing shrimp on it, kind of the coastal Southern style, but as if you would do the thing. This 100 layer lasagna is really yeah. catching my eye. Tell me about it. Yeah, so the short ribs that we use in our bolognese take about eight hours for the entire recipe to work from it. We source the short ribs from Florida Cattle Ranchers, Quincy Cattle Company, they're great people, and uh, up in Ocala, they deliver to me once a week. It's really, really nice stuff. So tell us about the fish dish here. So this fish, uh, this risotto is wild mushroom. It's a king oyster mushroom. The risotto is arborio, it's from the Po Valley in Italy. The halibut, we were looking at some fish that were local. Once again, we didn't like some of the stuff we were getting. This is sourced from Iceland. The microgreens on everything are from a farm in Mims. We get those twice a week. So Mims, just, just up the road? Yeah, just right up the road. So your menu is great for the Italian-American yeah. theme, but you also cater to other tastes. Like I notice a huge vegan section. Yes, yes, we do a lot of uh, vegan and a lot of gluten-free stuff. Our blackberry cobbler is gluten-free. Our polenta sticks are gluten-free. We have a gluten-free bread options. Yeah, yeah, we, we try to be there for everyone. So Chef Whale, tell us the top two dishes. Top two dishes, 100 layer lasagna, absolutely. That yep. is, everyone seems to love that. The shrimp and polenta, that's also a huge, huge thing for us. It's working out really well. That polenta is very, very nice. Once again, going to the, if an Italian were in the South, what they would use. So those are from Anson Mills in Charleston, South Carolina. 
how long has Vine and Olive been open? We've been open for a week now. When we decided to open this, we decided we were going to do it right from the day that we opened. So I've been in here working for about two months, creating, like working on every dish and trying to get everything exactly how we wanted it before we opened the doors. Chef Will, everything looks so incredibly delicious. How did you get your start in the food industry? So I started as a busboy at an Outback Steakhouse back in 2001. And from there, moved down the line, started working in their kitchen, was a uh, kitchen manager for them really learned how to run restaurants. I, I was living in Brooklyn, I was working in restaurants in Manhattan, really trying to source everything locally. And when I moved back to Brevard County, I just wanted to bring that back with me and try to support as much local stuff as I possibly could in Florida. Well, so, obviously it's working. There's no question it's working. As you can see on social yeah. media, you can see the line waiting yeah. for people yeah. to come yeah. in yeah. right now. Yeah. yeah, exactly. But you you grew up here. Yeah, I grew up in Merritt Island. It was a North, North Merritt Island boy. You know, grew up fishing on the uh, Indian River. Yeah, um, if I could get really good redfish, I'd bring that in because it reminded me of being a little kid. The uh, blackberry cobbler we have on the menu, the reason we have it on there is because my dad grew some blackberries in the backyard. My mom would send me out there to pick blackberries every day. They'd come inside and she'd make cobbler for me. So I just wanted to bring that childhood like memory back into stuff, you know? That's awesome right there. And I saw it on the menu. I don't see it here yet, but <laughs> I'm sure. Yeah, it'll be coming out in it'll a minute. Be coming out oh, yeah, for sure. You know, I, I always find my way back here. You know, there's Florida County is a beautiful place to be. Well, they're lucky to have you, and we're lucky to be here and experience this beautiful fair. So why are we waiting so long? No, no, seriously, I don't know what we're talking about. In. You guys are eating it. <laughs>
this one bedroom, one bath, riverfront condo is located in Bayshore Bath and Tennis Club. Watch the boats pass by all day from your living room or bedroom in this Halifax riverfront condo or enjoy some local favorites nearby. Local tradition, watch the Daytona Beach Christmas Boat Parade right from your living room. Boats decorated in holiday lights parade along the Halifax River 3.2 miles to the Halifax Harbor Marina. Enjoy fine dining at many area restaurants such as the Chart House located next to the marina. Another favorite fine dining restaurant is the Hyde Park Steakhouse just 1.4 miles away. It is situated on the Atlantic Ocean on the boardwalk inside the Daytona Beach Hilton. After dinner you can take a stroll down the boardwalk. Summer nights enjoy fireworks every Saturday and live concerts at the Band Shell on the boardwalk next to Bubba Gump's restaurant. You can walk along the world's most famous beach and enjoy restaurants and shops located on the Daytona Beach boardwalk. Called the birthplace of NASCAR, Bayshore has a ton of amenities and is 5.6 miles to the new One Daytona, which offers restaurants and a ton of shops just for you. This is located just across from the Daytona NASCAR on International Speedway, which offers CMX Cinema's Daytona Luxury 12, Ben & Jerry's Ice Cream, Rock Bottom Brewery, and local favorite Donnie's Donuts featured on the Food Network. In the mood for more shopping, Tanger Outlets is 5.7 miles away and the Volusia Mall is only 5.3 miles. Perfectly located on Florida's east central coast, midway between Jacksonville and Miami Palm Bay, with its riverfront areas, quiet suburbs, and phenomenal parks and recreation amenities is the perfect place to grow. Perfect for families and anyone looking for a calm yet lively place to call home. Palm Bay has great supermarkets, shopping centers, and retail stores with great local bars and restaurants. The Turkey Creek Nature Preserve in Palm Bay is available for anyone looking for adventure. Go for a hike, a bike ride, or some kayaking. The Turkey Creek Nature Preserve is waiting for you. With phenomenal choices in public and private schools, Palm Bay stands apart in education and as for employment, Palm Bay has many small businesses, manufacturers, and great varieties in work. Palm Bay is also a great city for aspiring entrepreneurs. The city is helpful and supportive of its small business community. It's the perfect place to grow and call home.